called shared relationship or something like that. No, open. Open relationship, right. Yeah. Are you saying you have sex with other men and he has sex with other women? Let me explain it. Okay. When we first got together, Jesse, I married my best friend. Right. I married my partner. I married the man that I called up when I was cheating on my other husband. And Jesse, I mean, don't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> because it was my, he's, he's been my best friend since I was 14 years old. Right. right. So when we first got married, I wasn't marrying my husband. I was marrying my best friend. I was marrying my partner. And no, we wasn't in love. What I was marrying was protection. And I, I needed somebody I could trust. And I needed, I needed somebody that I knew that loved me for real. So when we first got together. It's called shared relationship or something like that. Because in my mind at the time, I'm the boss. Yeah. I'm like, you know this big baby? Yeah. I'm Nikki Parker. <laughs> All over the world, Jesse. <laughs> Amazing. When we first got together, because it was my best friend, I didn't know how to lie to him. I didn't know how to play him. So I said, listen, check this out. There's still a cat that I want to keep seeing. I enjoy his company. It ain't nothing serious. But, you know, from time to time, I like to see him. He was like, yo, you're my best friend. That's not going to stop us from loving each other. Yeah. But I want you to understand something. You know, if you can see other dudes... I can see other women. I said, no, that's not the plan. I'm famous <laughs> and not you. That comes with being famous. Now, that's initially how it started. Because in my mind at the time, I'm the boss. Yeah. Like, you know this big baby? Yeah. I'm Nikki Parker. <laughs> All over the world, Jesse. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Amazing. When we first got together, because it was my best friend, I didn't know how to lie to him. I didn't know how to play him. So I said, listen, check this out. There's still a cat that I want to keep seeing. I enjoy his company. It ain't nothing serious. But, you know, from time to time, I like to see him. He was like, yo, you're my best friend. That's not going to stop us from loving each other. Yeah. But I want you to understand something. You know, if you can see other dudes, I can see... Other women, I said, no, that's not the plan. I'm famous <laughs> and not you. That comes with being famous. Now, that's initially how it started. That, that's, that's initially how it started, that we could be with other people if we saw that. Because in my mind at the time, I'm the boss. This is the elephant in the room. When a woman stops being intimate with you, she doesn't want to be with you anymore. She's there for whatever benefits are available to her. Sometimes she's there because she's comfortable in that scenario and she just doesn't want to move on from it. But I'm going to tell you like this. If she ain't fucking you, there is a very good chance that she is fucking somebody else. So if she ain't fucking you, you probably don't even want to start back trying to. You probably just want to accept that. Because whoever she's with, she's probably getting buck wild freaky with that cat. That's just the way it is. Oh, this ain't going to be no sugarcoating right here, man. This is going to be some tough love, homies. Because I think every man who's in that scenario see me. I look at that scenario and I'm like, man, if you're in a, a, a fucked up situation with a woman, man, she treats you like shit. Just leave the bro. Just leave her, homie. I don't even understand why it's so hard to leave. Man, we got the children. Man, fuck them children, dog. And she treating you like shit. Deal with them from a, from from outside of the house. You ain't got to stay in the house, man. No situation, man. See, let me tell you what happens, man. When a woman says she's staying for the children, a woman will stay for the children because she know how hard it is to be a single mother. So she'll stay in a situation for the children, man, just so they could be in a two-parent home. When a man says he's standing in there for the children, he usually no children that a scapegoat, man, because he ain't man enough to leave a woman that treat him like shit. You got to ask yourself, what makes you not be man enough? Now, if a man come up and disrespect you like that, man, you'll pull that iron out of him and put a hot one in it. What makes you feel like it's a good thing for you to let a woman disrespect you regardless of what's going on? 
If she talking to you crazy, treating you crazy, man, you won't well, see what you worrying about cheering for. She ain't worrying about it. She don't care if you leave. Because let me tell you something, bro. You ain't got to worry about the church. A, 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 a sucker will slide right on up in there and play daddy, bro. That's why, man, you got to make sure, man, if you're in that situation, you got to get in that situation with the right woman. You got to get in that situation with the woman that you could build some long term with, man, that you can see yourself with long term. You ain't got to stay with a bra forever, but at least the children get grown till they get old enough to, to handle life on their own. They go off to college or, or whatever they're going to do, man. You know, even if they go off to the military, whatever your children going to do, man, you want to at least be that man to the children get grown. If you can't do that, man, then you're going to be in a situation where another man is going to influence your children. But I'm going to tell you like this. All that don't matter if the woman treating you like shit. Because let me tell you what happens. Once a woman starts treating you like shit, the respect is gone. Once a woman loses respect for you, she never gains it back. She may not hate you anymore. She may not dislike you anymore, but she'll never respect you again. Respect is not. Listen, when a woman believes that she can treat you any kind of way, there's nothing you can do to reverse that in her mind. There's nothing you can do to reverse that in her mind. You may get her to change her actions. But it's going to be because of some, there's a beneficial scenario at the end of that. It, she's never going to just all of a sudden say, well, you've earned my respect. Even after I, you let me slap you and, and, and do all those type of things to you. And you let me, you know, I came home with hickey on my neck and all that. You, 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 I, I certainly respect you again. It ain't going to happen. Now, let's get into the meat of this thing now, man. Deep into the meat of this thing. When you're in a situation, bro. And you giving a woman a great life because it was your life first. You had a great life. You invited a woman into your great life. And she don't even appreciate it. She feel like it's your damn right to provide for her. Like, 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 it's, not, listen, not like, like, it, it's not your privilege. It's your right. It's not something you do out the kinds of your heart. It's your right. That means that you need to be doing it if you want to be a man. When she feels like providing for her is your job. No. Providing for your family is your job. If you got a bra who ain't, who ain't even acting like family with you, you ain't, it ain't your job to provide for her, but she's sitting there rubbing it in your face and spinning up your money while treating you like a damn dog. Man, some brothers out here getting money going through it with some scallywag, man. Who are you to put yourself through something with a woman, man? You worked as hard as you did to build yourself up, man. Who are you to put yourself in a situation with a woman? Who they can treat with shit with her own ass. See, let me tell you something. You got to make sure that you don't get validated by a woman's need for you. When a woman says she needs you. When a woman says she loves you. When a woman says she can't see herself without you. You got to make sure you don't get caught up in that shit, man. Because a woman will capitalize on your need to feel needed. Once she got you in that headspace, man, when you feel the need needed, you're going to be right there. You're going to be, when well, you need to feel needed, man, you're going to be right there. All she got to do is make you feel needed. She can treat you like shit. Plenty of men deal with it. Plenty of men get treated like shit. Why? Because they, all the woman got to do is come back and say, but I need you. A woman can talk to a man like a dog, fuck his friend, have a baby, do all that. He heading out the door, man. All the woman got to do is cry and plead and say she's sorry and she don't know what she'll do without you. And you the most amazing man she ever met. And all this shit right here that her actions don't never prove. And you know what you'll do? Okay, baby, we can work it out. It sounds funny, but I'm not laughing because many men do that. Many men stay in that scenario and try to work that shit out. How you going to work something out when ain't nothing to be worked out? How you going to try to make it work with a motherfucker that don't want to make it work with you? How you going to make something work with somebody that's trying not to make it work? Men stay in a situation, man. They know they need to get out of it. The woman, man, let me tell you something. A woman will try to make you leave her. When a woman start acting like that, she is trying to make you leave her. How in the hell are you going to force somebody to be with you that's trying to make you leave them? Think about this. If a woman does something and you get on her case about it. A week later, she does the same shit. You get on a case about it again. A week later, she does the same shit. Does it twice that week. And you get on her ass again. Six months later, she's still doing the same shit at least once a week. Telling you she forgot. Telling you she didn't remember. Telling you all type of bullshit. And you know what you do? Man, she trying. How the fuck she trying and she can't, she can't get one thing right? She ain't trying, man. She ain't trying at all, homie. You got to stop letting yourself be taken to the cleaners like a goddamn dirty suit. 
That's why I tell you, man, you cannot give a woman no leeway, man. You can't let her do the same thing over and over. She do it. You tell her, you tell her how you, where, where you stand on it. She do it again. Drop her ass. You can't let a woman act like a child when it comes time to show and prove her value. Then all the other times she want to be a fucking woman. Want to be crying 50-50 talk. Want to be talking about what she bring to the table and all that. But then when it comes time for her to improve and, and, and change the situation that needs to be changed within herself, then she a child. She need to be worked on. She need, she need to be taught. And she need to be, man, you a fool if you sit around here trying to teach a grown-ass woman something. If she older than 25, you trying to teach a man, you a fool. Really. I'm not teaching a woman older than 25 now because by the time a woman 25, she's set in her ways. You ain't going to find me a 28-year-old woman who ain't set in her ways. She can have all the other prerequisites, man. She can be young, tender, fly, no children. I mean, whatever else you want to add to the equation, man, but I promise you she's going to be set in her ways. And the crazy thing is she's set in her ways, but at 28, you don't know shit. So you got a woman that's set in some stupid ways. Ain't going to be set in them. That's why you see a 60-year-old woman still trying to wear blonde fucking hair. 60-year-old black woman trying to wear blonde hair. 60-year-old white woman still trying to wear a two-piece bikini at the goddamn beach. Nobody want to see that shit. When you elevate yourself to the most alpha version of yourself, man, women are an infinitesimal part of your life, man. They only a part of your life when you have absolutely nothing else to do. Like they, like her, her value is what she contributes. A woman who walks up to you has absolutely no value until she shows you what she can contribute. What she contributes is her value. To these tricks, sex is her value. You know, see, Rob, I'm going to be honest with you, man. These guys be in love, man. That's why I say, man, you cannot be emotionally available to women, man. You cannot allow, allow yourself to get emotionally attached to a woman because when you fall in love, man, you can't let her go. She can treat you. She can do anything she wants to. You can't let her go. An uh, in love man cannot leave a woman. Listen, an in love man will get treated like shit by a woman. She'll leave him to go be with somebody else and he'll still be trying to get her back. That's what the in love shit does, man. The guys be talking about, man, man, anybody who says you better to fall in love, man, it's crazy. Okay, well, fall your ass on in love then. Tell us how, we'll catch you on the back end with your ass over here in the alpha sphere that we red pill rage. It makes no sense, man. Especially in these modern times, man. Listen, in modern times, man, women aren't lovable like that. There was a time past where you could love a woman. You could truly love a woman. That was when that, that was when when there was more governmental control. There was more masculine control over what women could do and what they can do. Right now, it's a free for all. Women can do whatever the hell they want to do, man. Women aren't lovable. You a fool if you fall in love with a woman right now, bro. Moving forward, that time is gone. Don't let nobody tell you do no stupid shit like that, man. See, this is what you gotta understand, man. You have already shown her that you'll take her shit. Once you show a woman you'll take shit, she ain't gonna never stop don't throwing shit at you. Ever. She gonna throw it at you forever. She gonna figure out the ways to manipulate you with the shit. And that's what she's gonna do. Punishment and reward. Whoever's giving the punishment and reward is the pimp in the situation. And if so, if a woman is giving you punishments and rewards, come on, man. Man, listen, bro. I know guys, man, who pay all the bills in the crib in a fly crib. I'm talking about, man, million-dollar home, man. Pay all the bills, man. Nigga, old lady be making me go sleep on the porch. I mean, not on the porch, but on the couch. Let me tell you something. If your woman make you go sleep on the couch, you're not a beta male. You're not a simp. Ain't no other way to put it. That's what you are. She going to make you get out of your bed and put you on the couch. Any man right now, if you listen to this shit on your headphone because you don't want her to hear it and you on the couch right now. You better get up and go get your ass in the bed, man. Tell her she don't want to be in the bed with you. She better go sleep on the couch. See, it's not. Isn't, see, you don't even have to worry about controlling a woman. You got to regain control of yourself. The woman is controlling you right now. She is absolutely controlling you. So what are you going to do in a situation? What can a man do in a situation where he's being controlled by a woman besides do feminine shit? Nothing. You can't do nothing else. It's all you can do, man. You have to keep women out of your mix, man. You can't open up your life, man, and share your whole life with a woman, man. Let her be a part of everything you got going on. I be mean chicks, man. They, they, like, they know what I do, man. Like, I should, I'll be out somewhere, man. Somebody roll up. Hey, what's up, man? And then, who, this, 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 this dude you be listening to? Yeah, man, she be like that, man. She be like, 
you know, can I, can I get a link? Can uh, can you send me a link to the show tonight? I'm like, nah. I mean, you want her to watch the show, man? Like, nah, man. That is my thing right there. Well, it's your it's your channel. You can send me a link. Nah, I can't. Then your man say he don't want you to watch it. I ain't give you nothing. I had a chick from the past reached out to me, man, and said, okay, man, they, man uh, somebody told her I got a podcast, man. Said, okay, can you give me a link to your podcast? I don't, I ain't never, I don't know where you, I don't know where it's at and, or how to find it in there. I said, good. That's where it's supposed to be. I don't make content for women, bro. I don't make content for women. 